Welcome to your program, Frontiers, here on Kingvin Television with me, Ezrina Kamaliza. The program that we discuss challenges affecting so many sectors in our country without forgetting drafting up the solutions that can probably excel the country's development. In today's program, I am not alone. I am joined by Peter Yakobe, who is the Executive Director for Center for Free Market Enterprise. You're welcome, Peter. Thank you. Thank you. In today's program, we're going to be discussing business growth in Malawi. So many young people have brilliant ideas and would like to venture into businesses with their ideas. But sometimes the challenge is capital. Sometimes is that maybe their, their ideas are not embraced in our society. Maybe according to our policies or our laws, their businesses fail to thrive. The big question is, what can we do, perhaps, for young people's businesses to thrive in the country? So Peter will be highlighting much on what he has done from Center for Free Market Enterprise and what other youth can learn from what has been happening. So Peter, to set the program rolling, yeah. just give us a brief, a brief background. Center for, market, for Free Market Enterprise. What is it all about? Thank you. Uh, Center for Free Market Enterprise is an organization which is key to creating a prosperous Malawi uh, 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 based on the uh, principles of entrepreneurship and, uh, and uh, youth creation, uh, uh, wealth creation and youth development. Because we believe that the young people are the, are the future of this country. The young people comprise of over 60% of the Malawi population. And uh, we believe that if we are to move this country forward, we need to train and equip these young people. We need to empower them so that they can get skills, they should get resources, they should get um, uh, the capacity to create value wealth and prosperity for this country. As you know, in this country, a lot of people, they, when, when they think of youth development, they think of sports, yes. like uh, uh, establishing a football league for them to play uh, football, netball. Uh, when, you, they, they, when they think of youth development, what they, they, what they uh, think of is um, giving them loans. But no, I believe that if you want to develop young people in this country, give them the capacity, mm. uh, give them the skills, mm. uh, empower them so that they can use those skills to become something better. They can use those skills to become uh, productive citizens of the country. You've spoken something that uh, spoken about something that has to do with mentorship, basically, yes. the, and maybe incubators where people can can grow the, the, their ideas. We've seen so many organizations. They've gone into the rural communities, mm -hmm. uh, set up trainings. But sometimes it's that just after the training, mm -hmm. there's not much that is being done. Mm -hmm. What should we do? Um, uh, that's a good question. Uh, a lot of organizations, a lot of companies, they've trained the young people, they've given them the skills, uh, and even money. Some of them mm -hmm. have even given them money. But after giving them the money, after giving them the skills, they leave them uh, like to do whatever they want to do. They don't follow up with them. What they don't doing. mentor them. Mm -hmm. And as a result, it's, it's like we just waste the resources on, uh, on, uh, uh, in, in those trainings. Um, uh, what we do at Center for Free Market Enterprise is that we have an entrepreneur's hub, mm -hmm. whereby we train young people in business, uh, how they can start business, how ca they can raise capital, how they can manage uh, 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 the resources, whatever. And then we bring them into the hub. We put them into the hub for one year. Mm -hmm. uh, we, we work with them to... Uh, to help helping them to establish their business, make sure that their business is growing mm -hmm. so that it can attract more customers. Mm -hmm. So we don't have just to give them the trainings, but mm -hmm. these young people need mentorship. Mm -hmm. These young people need more role models. Uh, these young people need some people whom they can look up to so that they can even help them uh, in the businesses which they are doing and uh, help them to uh, do better businesses than they have been doing previously. The other issue that comes up is the, the lack of markets. You know, sometimes you talk to young people, youth in business, they say, ah, maybe at this point I tried to venture into business, but I failed because I couldn't find a market. Mm -hmm. How best can a young entrepreneur discover their market? Um, it depends on the goods and services which you want to provide. But I can assure you that we have the market in this country. Mm -hmm. Malawi has over 16 million people. Uh, all these people, every day they have to eat. That means if you are to venture into into food business, business. market is there because in the morning people they, they we eat in the morning we mm. eat in the afternoon we eat in the evening we have a lot of young people who are in, who are going to school nowadays they are, I think this was a school week mm. whereby the students are going back to school that means if you can start a business and uh, 
and uh, you are pro pro uh, you are selling a uh, school item, the stationery, the books. It is the market is there. You just have to work on your marketing skills so mm -hmm. that you can convince those people to start buying from you. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, the market is there in Malawi. And another problem which exists is that a lot of organizations, a lot of companies, they don't like giving young people business because they say that uh, you are, you are you're just studied, mm -hmm. uh, you don't have the necessary skills, maybe you don't produce high quality services. So because they don't believe in the young people, yeah, they don't give them the mm -hmm. business. They give the business businesses to already established companies, mm -hmm. even foreign companies sometimes. Yes. And as a result, youth entrepreneurship is not going in this country. The biggest buyer in Malawi is the government. Are we being embraced by the government as young people? I think no, um, because if you were to find out, most of the goods and services which our, our government buys are from abroad, and some some of them are from already established well-known companies. Mm -hmm. So, my plea to the government, and not only government but even other NGOs, big NGOs, uh, big companies, is that please let's support the young people by buying their products. These young people, they don't need food bollocks, no. Mm -hmm. They don't need loans, but buy what they are providing. Because if you buy from them, that means they're going to grow. How are they going to grow if you don't give them business? How are they going to move forward if you don't support them? So let's support the young people. Let's give them business. That's the only way their businesses are going to grow. As you have said, uh, the government is the biggest buyer. Please buy from these young people. That's the only way these young people are going to grow in their businesses. Once you buy from them, their businesses will grow. They will create jobs that no other person has ever created. You've spoken of marketing skills. In our education system, we don't have much of business mentorship. Yes. And how best maybe we can realize what uh, our skills to turn them into businesses. Mm -hmm. In terms of marketing, what is Center for Free Market Enterprise doing to ensure that the youth get the skills they require to market their products? Um, first of all, what we do is that we work on the mindset transformation or the mindset change. Because we believe that um, for someone to be an entrepreneur, he needs a change of the mindset first. He needs to start thinking entrepreneurial. Once you start thinking entrepre entrepreneurial, you realize that raising capital is, you can raise capital even if you don't have uh, big assets even if you don't have money, but you can be able to raise capital using the small, small resources or the little resources you have. Um, uh, and, and once you have started thinking entrepreneurial, you understand and you learn how to talk to people mm -hmm. to buy your goods and services, mm -hmm. how to convince someone to become your customer. Mm -hmm. So the biggest thing which we do is work on the mindset transformation. After transforming the mindset of the person, then we come with the, uh, with the uh, other skills, financial management skills, uh, management skills, mm -hmm. uh, 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 people management skills, mm -hmm. yes. So. The other issue that comes up is the issue of people being able to work together. There are times you can even actually, ju just to one market, you go to one market, you find another one, let's say for example, they are into tailoring. Mm -hmm. One will open up a shop with one machine, the mm -hmm. other one will open up a shop with one machine, another one just behind with one machine. Mm -hmm. What if these people can come together? How best can people work together to grow a business? Mm -hmm. There is a saying which says, uh, if you want to go fast, go alone. But if you want to go far, go together, go with someone else. Mm -hmm. A lot of Malawians, we like doing solo businesses. We, uh, we don't like partnerships. We don't like collaborations. That's why our businesses, they don't grow. That's mm -hmm. why we struggle to grow our businesses. Because if you, assuming you and I are in business, mm -hmm. you bring your money, I bring my money. You bring your resources, I bring my resources. Mm -hmm. You bring your skills, I bring my skills. The combination of, of the two of us will grow the business. And our business can grow... Uh, uh, um, the growth of the business can be better than if I can do it alone. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and at the same time, if you are to observe, uh, I don't know if you have, maybe I'm the only one who made this observation. Mm -hmm. If you go to a uh, restaurant, uh, maybe like Steers or, or, or KFC or, or wherever, and, and, and maybe if you just sit down somewhere and, uh, ob and, and observe what is happening when people are going, uh, are coming into the, uh, in, in, uh, in uh, when, the restaurant. Yes. Mm -hmm. You find that most of Malawians, they sit on their own desks. Uh, like Mumpeza, Kabila Malawi, I'm a Kabai. Kabila India, and Kabila Zungo, a Kabila India, and some 
Am I say so go 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 can do yes yes so they interact they make business deals they do partnerships ko my fear ma we don't so go bangas into bad or card now we bangas business doka that's why our businesses don't grow so now for the youth they've been through mentorship programs they've been through uh incubators you are uh, the first that i've heard of for uh center for free market enterprise but i've also heard of the uh, te- technology hub mm-hmm. uh m hub yes. how best should the youth utilize these hubs mm-hmm. um i would like to tell the young people that all of these places they have so all these trainings whatever they are there for our own benefit so let's utilize them uh, uh let's not uh, uh let's not be conservative let's don't fear uh kupita kumalo kumene kuli habu kumene kuzwa kuti ukapindula ko ngati uli ndi vuto uh mwina ukusoyekera my resources maybe ukusoyekera mentorship it's only in these places where you're going to find the people who are going to help you the people who are going to help you develop your idea maybe you just have an idea and you don't know how to move forward with your idea go to one of these hubs and we are going to help you shape that idea to become a product maybe which you can even help this whole country so let's use these places let's use these hubs because they've been established for us course, if yes. we don't utilize them then who is going to do uh, them of yes. course you're watching frontiers that here on timveni television with me is rina kamaliz and of course i have a guest peter yakobe executive director for center for free market enterprise we'll be right back after this short break Welcome back to your program Frontiers. Here with me is Rina Kamaliza and of course I have Peter Yakobe with me in the studio. Next we would like to look at how our policy framework in the country in terms of business policies that are there in Malawi are they supporting young businesses? Mm-hmm. Um our policies to be honest with you they not they don't favor young entrepreneurs. As first of all let's look at the uh the system of st- of registering a business in other countries within within 2 hours you 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 can register a business you register a business and 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 you'll be good to go but in this country uh, you have to bribe someone you have to bribe someone you have to give him uh, uh, 5000 or 10000 for him to register your own business um uh, apart from that even if you are producing Uh, some goods and services and you want to export for the government of Malawi to give you an export license my friend you struggle mm-hmm. you struggle you struggle and you struggle and you end up having a lot of goods and serv- a lot of goods but you have nowhere to sell uh, is it that there's no market no there's market for those products outside mm-hmm. but for the government of Malawi to give you a permission to, to, to export or to sell those uh, the, uh, those products mm-hmm. it's not easy at the same time um Uh, most of the policies which we have in this country business policies they don't favor the local businesses instead they favor foreigners mm-hmm. let me give you an example if you i don't know if you have heard uh, the minister of trade uh, mm-hmm. in this country selling this country across uh, outside malawi mm-hmm. and how is ambili ama auza zungu to come to malawi we'll give you a 10 years tax holiday yes. we we'll give you this we we'll give you mm-hmm. this we we'll give you that if you can provide the very same things to young entrepreneurs in malawi mm-hmm. business how many businesses are going to grow so why can't we bring in policies which will also favor the local businesses because and how can judge that pass my opportunity is ambili akabwera ku malawi kuno yes that business is flourishing because company mwe pass 10 years tax holiday mm-hmm. 10 years tax holiday and company ndiya kunja company ya malawi kumwe kuno imene indeed the exact capital 
even sometimes more than them mm-hmm. but but we are killing them with taxes how are we can we expect our own people to grow with this kind of uh, we, we, with, with such type of policy mm-hmm. and, 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 and and apart from that we need to review uh, some of our trading agreements with our neighboring countries mm. because Malawi we go outside the country and we import a lot of products tinda malambi abita ku Tanzania ka kwazi to bweresa amambi amabita ku Zimbabwe abita ku Zambia but how many people from these countries come to Malawi come, uh, come to Malawi to buy mm. and how many Malawians export their goods and services to these countries mm. is it because uh, um, uh, maybe mkumi kwiza na yatu ndi maigo ena um, we don't have a, a provision mm. of reduced customs and duties mm. is it because we don't have uh, agreements which brings in like free movement of goods and services so we need to review some of our, of our trade agreements with our neighboring countries mm-hmm. because if you export goods and services to, we, we know the importance of export exports brings in foreign mm-hmm. currency yes. and the the kind of foreign currency ambili kwa jaime kwa jai ima ima class table mm-hmm. and there are a lot of benefits i mean it's good ma bindua ma bindua ma export so that's another thing which we will need to look into okay you've mentioned of how our policies don't support us but now what can young people do if they can work together what message should they bring to the government um the first thing should be um a reduction of taxes. Um, uh, let me not say reduction of taxes, but the government of Malawi should create a conducive environment for these young people to grow, for their businesses to flourish. First of all, uh, I've already mentioned it. Let's give these young people businesses. Uh, business give him an opportunity because that's the only way these young people are going to grow. That's the first the, the first point. Let's give these young people business. Two taxes. I've seen some people. I'm a bit of China. I got a lot of So I come out of China. I got a lot of money. I'm a boy. I'm a cap. Okay. I'm a lot of eating. I'm a strong. I come out of China. I got a lot of money. I'm a boy. I'm a cap. I'm a lot of eating. I'm a boy. I'm a cap. I'm a lot of eating. I'm a boy. I'm a cap. I'm a lot of eating. I'm a boy. I'm a cap. I'm a how do you expect people to, to grow mm. the uh, the that system of tax? I mean, I we are giving him ten years holiday. We are not go ten years. You won't even pay that. Mm. So let's revise our tax system. Let's create a tax system which is going to favor the local people of this country. Mm-hmm. Otherwise, it's like we are just running this country for the foreigners. Mm. Yeah. So uh, first of all, give young people business uh, businesses, and secondly, please. Create tax systems. Kanjira zabu noza misongo zimene ziwa gomera ainyaga zikoli no. Not only my foreigners. Uh, my other message to the young people is that please don't be afraid to collaborate with someone. Uh, if you have found a friend uh, and together both of you are like-minded, magenzano mm. ndofanana. Go together. We do business together. Bring your resources together. Bring your skills together and. At the end, Musa Bizaudi, Mulindi, Mambisa business, Seba Mamba business, Yam Pam Vogudi, Mutumos like Sagana. So, but now, Tabuno, Zakagudi, we have this free, um, well, no, I shouldn't say free, but better tax mm-hmm. uh, regimes in our country. Mm-hmm. The youth sometimes we lag in maybe showing interest to follow up on what is going on in our country, reading on what maybe the laws are saying mm-hmm. and what other things are, are going on. What sort of interest should young people have in understanding business environment in mm-hmm. the country? Um, uh, it's mentorship. Uh, let's mentor these young people. Uh, let's bring people who have done business and are successful. Not only the successful ones, even those who have failed. Because if we bring someone who has failed in business, uh, I, if I chat with him, I will know what, why did that person fail. Mm-hmm. And I will not repeat the same mistakes Mistake. which he did. Mm-hmm. Secondly, let's develop a reading culture. A lot of people in this country, a lot of young people, we don't like to read. Honestly, we don't like to read. Mm-hmm. We, we just want Zintuza pompo pompo, and 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 that's why someone said, "But if you want to hide something from an African, what do you do?" Mm. So let's develop a reading culture. The the world is a very 
a global place now with internet you can find whatever you want in internet even if you just want to find out marketing skills the internet will give you if you want financial management skills the okay. internet is going to mm-hmm. give you so let's develop a reading culture uh, so that we can learn how our friends are doing their businesses we can get skills and knowledge to help us run our businesses otherwise if you don't develop a reading culture you still be ignorant and if you are ignorant how can you run a successful business with ignorance all right uh, as we are winding up uh, peter just in summary your message as center for free market enterprise for young people how important is it for us to take up initiatives in businesses to grow our country as i've said already that uh, youth development is not about sports youth development is not about giving the young people loans youth development is about giving the youth the capacity and ability to be to become productive and to become whatever they would like to be youth development is about empowering the young people with skills so that they can do they can start enterprises they can start organizations and they can create jobs for a lot of people so we need to train our people to become entrepreneurial we need to help them change their mindset so that they should not only think be thinking of getting a job or being employed by someone but they should instead be thinking of creating jobs employing other people assuming the 1000 young people in this country assuming the one th- uh, the, the 1000 graduates graduating ne- uh, maybe next month or in the next two months assuming each one of them starts his or her own business and each one of them employs five people how many jobs are they going to create by the end of the day we're going to have a country with a lot of companies a lot of organizations and with a lot of young people who are working because another another challenge I think uh, one of the problems in this country is that we have people who are idle they're not doing anything they're, they're just staying at home mm-hmm. and how do you expect uh, the country to move forward with such kind of people so we need to take those young people back to work and how can we take them back to work by creating companies by creating organizations by creating value and prosperity and we are going to create wealth that no other country has ever created well thank you peter for your time i believe uh, people that are watching have also picked up a thing or two and also those especially in government and policy makers have also picked something that can help grow businesses in our country you have been with me Serena kamaliza and let me wish you a good evening